Hello everyone, this is Ross here for Xbox Gamer Reviews. Today we're taking a look at Die. This is going to be available on the 7th of February 2018. Um, only available in the US and Canada, priced at $4.49 and you can pre-order it now for a discount. Right, let's jump into it and check it out. Right, just before we start then, you can have multiple saves on this uh, game. There's about six or seven slots uh, to save your games. Um, this is the outer world where you've got your portals to each individual world. There's the purple one and there's another three there as you can see and they're all locked currently. So we enter the purple world and there's 140 pigments in this world to save. So the story is um, the Necrolites have um, captured the pigments and we are playing as a little character called Hugh and you can see him running and jumping around there and we've got to go and rescue them to restore the colour to the world. Um, so this is the very first one, so we jump in here and press X to start and we crack on. So the game does feature a leaderboard system um, that runs off your time as well as collecting the uh, little pigments as well. The very first one is very simple, uh, just run and jump along, collecting those little fellas as we go. Um, drop down with B, can also stick to walls as you can see there. We also get to float as well in a second, so you hold the X button to float down. Like so. We just missed that one. That's what pressing Y does. Soft destructs go back to the previous checkpoint. There we go. And we landed on the spikes there. That's a little better. We've made it to the end. Now we did that in 55.5 seconds. Our best time is 35.7 as you can see on the right there with the leaderboard. Um, right, so let's crack on. Next build is now open. Up here we go, so it's a lot more tricky already. Look, we've got a little cart to ride in along these spikes, and we need to try and float back into the cart so we don't die. So let's give this another go, it's better. Let's see a little chap down here, so let's go and grab him. Maybe not. now it's tricky to uh, control that jump once you've committed to it there we go it's better like this here just in front of us is a little timer so at times the doors open and we've got to be as quick as we possibly can uh, we need to go up here Uh, didn't jump in time there and we just hit that <laughs> not doing very well at all oh, I keep missing that I think I'm gonna leave it I think <laughs> Just for the sake of getting through this. There's another one up there as well, we'll leave that one as well. Uh, so you, yeah, you don't have to collect them all to get through the level, uh, but it does help. Let's get ourselves over here, grab that. Finally finish that level. So we missed two of the uh, things there. Um, we don't get a leaderboard then for not collecting them all. And we can't go and do the hard mode as well, so you must collect them all to open the hard mode for each level as well. In fact, what we'll do then, just quickly, is we'll run back and we'll check the hard mode for this one. 
I'll see what the difficulty is like on this. I uh, don't feel changed much at all. Oh, I see, yeah, yeah, that's changed quite a lot. Let's be quite precise with your jumps. Checkpoints here because we keep going right back to the beginning. It'll be interesting to see what like, some of the later levels are like if these are fairly tricky already. Um, oh, come on now. <laughs> give up on this in a minute. Give it one last go. Alright, <laughs> that'll do. Right, I think I'm going to leave the video there for today. So yeah, this is quite a challenging game, um, fairly tricky. But if it's something you're after, then go and check it out. As we said earlier on, it is available now to pre-order on the Microsoft Store, US and Canada only. Alright, so yeah, I hope this video has given a nice insight to the game, what it looks like, what it plays like. If it does, please leave a like on it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon.